D, wait for it. My book. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And welcome to This Week in Review, where I try to break down the news of the week in 10 minutes or less. I'll try my best, but we'll see how it goes. So let's just dive in. So I would comment on The Flash, but with only um, one episode or yeah, one episode left, um, this episode was a uh, total filler. I mean... The next one... Oh, no, no. They have two episodes left. This one was filler, and we, it, we it's so close to the end. Why would you not give more to the story? It, it's, uh, no, no, we're not going to talk about it. Anyway, so um, moving on to Arrow. Um, we did see the uh, Arrow cave, their bunker, uh, that was destroyed, which, um, you know, mm, it's kind of... They're not going to be there anymore. I mean, unless they rebuild it again. Um, but then we also saw um, Diaz uh, kill off um, a bun or two members of the the quadrant and everything, so he could take it over. Um, and um, and then we also saw Oliver again reveal his identity um, to FBI agent Watson. Well, he hadn't revealed his identity, but he's revealed his identity to, like, pretty much everybody on that show. And so um, we'll see what comes of that because uh, he owes her another favor. Um, on Supergirl, we saw the uh, death of um, Pestilence and uh, Purity. So they are now gone, so it, it might be interesting to see uh, what happens with uh, Rain now that they're gone and she's, I guess, more powerful. Um, I don't know if if she got their powers because they died. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I don't know what's going on with that. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, because I think that has uh, five episodes left. Um, then um, I want to uh, offer a suggestion of a show to watch for you guys, and that show is Killing Eve. This is on the BBC One. Um, it stars um, Sandra O oh and um, Jody. Uh, Comer, I believe that's how you say, or Comer. I'm not sure how you uh, pronounce that. I apologize if I got it wrong. Um, but it's uh, Sandra O oh plays, um, I believe, the equivalent of a CIA agent in Britain, and she is tracking down um, Jodie Comer's character, who is uh, an assassin, and um, she works for like this secret organization and everything um, called the Twelve. I won't give too much away, but um, it's only five episodes in, so if you can if you can grab it and catch up, I suggest it a hundred percent. This show is fantastic. I enjoy it. I can't wait to watch it every week. I love Sandra Oh. She is. You might know her from um, Grey's Anatomy. Um, that I would say is her biggest. Uh, thing. Um, she's also in, you know, some films and stuff like that and some other TV shows. But she's uh, just a great actress. She's so, she and she's so good in this. She's so good. It's ridiculous. Um, I really do enjoy it. And I, I would suggest anybody to go and watch that show um, if you get the chance. Um, one sad thing that I want to talk about is the show Lucifer um, has been canceled after three seasons. And I don't know about you, but I am bummed about this. I know, right, you guys? That was so sad. So sad. Um, you can go on, um, Twitter and, um, do the hashtag save Lucifer. I know I have, and I would suggest, like, trying to get this show to come back because I love the show. Fox made a horrible decision, in my opinion, on this. And then we're going to, uh, and that brings me a great segue over to the news where we are going to talk about um, uh, Comcast upsets, uh, the upset of the Disney Fox deal. Um, and this, this jeopardizes, uh, you know, a lot. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, does Comcast really want to continually to upset people by not letting um, the X-Men and the Marvel characters join the MCU at Disney? I mean, um, and, and just to break it down a little bit, um, uh, Comcast, uh, their position is that they're going, they're doing something nice, and um, and they they're saying like we can't allow Disney to have an uh, entertainment monopoly, and they won't be able to compete um, on an entertainment level um, if they if this merger does go through, and um, so they're they're going to make a bid that's so attractive um, that Fox shareholders have no choice but to take a look. Um, and they want to um, get in the mix with um, a cash bid um, that they will pay to Fox shareholders 
for their stock, whereas Disney would just give them um, stock in their new expanded company. And so how this is, is we've if you've been uh, keeping up with the entertainment news, um, Fox's entertainment division is going to be, is right now going in process of being bought out by uh, Disney. And that means for Marvel fans, uh, it's a great opportunity because it means uh, characters like the X-Men and Fantastic Four will revert back to, will revert back to Marvel slash Disney and they can now join the MCU. And a lot of people are very excited about this. And a lot of Marvel fans want to see this happen. I personally want to see it happen. I would love to see the Fantastic Four in the MCU. I think it's that they're just like the perfect fit. Um, so, but, uh, and, um, and Comcast has now, again, like I said, throw their bid in for the, um, for the Fox's Entertainment because they want to be able to compete. And I, I don't like, I personally don't like this, uh, in the fact that I think Comcast is, um, such a crappy company in my opinion, um. Uh, as far I have so many problems with Comcast, but um, so uh, but Rupert Murdoch uh, owns uh, he has forty percent of a vote, and um, he would like he has said he would like to be paid in stock because it's not taxable, and he um and I also think that there's an ulterior motive. I think that he also wants his two sons to get jobs uh, to secure jobs at Disney for their future. Um, I mean, and his two sons, in my opinion, haven't done that great of a job over at Fox in the the two areas that they've done. I mean, they've done a, a mediocre job, but not uh, anything special. Um, so, but he, and, and plus they're Murdochs. You could get a, an interview over at uh, Disney. So I don't know why you're having daddy pull strings for you. Um, I do have a problem with this merger, and that is the fact that I believe it's 10,000 jobs will be lost because of it. And, and, and the reason is because it's an overlap that, you know, you don't need two of the same job. Uh, one at, that was at Fox and one that's at Disney. And then you just combine those two and one person will obviously lose their job. And that's really sad to see anybody lose their their um source of income especially you know people have families and you know you've got to you've got to earn a living and now it's like well what are those people going to do now and of course disney is probably just like sorry but we don't care um so now moving on to my next story which is that bill and ted three um aka bill and ted face the music um is going to be put well it hasn't got a a, a distributor slash it hasn't gotten the financing but i mean they're so close to getting financing there's no way that they won't get financing and um alex winter and keanu reeves will both be coming back uh they've been um uh, confirmed to be returning back as William Bill S. Preston Esquire and Ted Theodore Logan, or Theodore Ted Logan, sorry, and um, Wild Stallions. And if you're if you're a Bill and Ted uh, lover like myself, it's I love those movies. I could watch them all day. I mean, they're so good. They're funny. I love Keanu Reeves like back in the day and everything. It's just it's so great. Um, Matheson and Solomon, uh, the two people that wrote the first. Uh, uh, two movies uh, are going to be uh, coming back and writing this. I believe they've already finished the script and everything. And um, the director, Dean uh, Parasat, don't quote me on the pronunciation of that. Um, he is uh, of Galaxy Quest and uh, Red 2, uh, the director of those movies, and uh, he is attached to direct. Um, and, I mean, I like both of those movies, so hopefully uh, it will go uh, well. Um, one person that will obviously not be returning is the character of uh, Rufus, and that is because he was played by um, the late George Carlin, um, so he will not, and they will not be recasting him, so that character will obviously not be returning. And it really is sad. I mean, I love George Carlin. Um, he is such a talent, and I loved him in that role. Um, but And it's so sad that he won't be able to be in it uh, because he died. I, it's sad that he died. I'm really sad that he died. He is so great. So, so basically, here is the synopsis. I'm going to read it really quickly and everything. And it says, When we last met Bill and Ted, they were time-traveling teenagers trying to pass history class and win the Battle of the Bands. Once prophesized to save the universe with their rock and roll, middle age, and the responsibility of family have caught up with these two best friends who have not yet fulfilled their destiny. They've written thousands of tunes, but they have yet to write a good one, much less the greatest song ever written. With the fabric of time and space tearing around them, a visitor from the future warns our heroes that only their song can save life as we know it. Out of luck and fresh out of inspiration, Bill and Ted set out on a time-traveling adventure to seek the song 
to seek the song that will set their world right and bring harmony in the universe as we know it. Together with their aid, with the aid of their daughters, a new crop of historical figures and some sympathetic mu music legends, Bill and Ted find much, much more than just a song. Now, this sounds great to me. I don't know if it sounds good to you guys, but this just sounds great to me. I couldn't be more excited. I think that... Um, I think, I mean, the daughter's part, I, I know that a lot of, you know, with the Me Too movement and a lot of people are um, really getting behind the whole, you know, female empowerment thing, it's fine, but I don't think that we should keep should keep stepping back with the role of son, father and sons. Um, I think that when we just, uh, when it gets that way, when it's it's all female dominated, I, I feel like um, uh, lots of men tend to take a step back and just be like, this isn't for me. Because people want to see um, on the screen um, stuff that they can relate to. And But Bill, people can totally relate to Bill and Ted. Absolutely. I can relate to Bill and Ted. It's fine that they have daughters. It's fine. It's totally fine. But, um, okay. So then my last news story I want to talk about is Annette Benning has joined the cast of uh, Captain Marvel. And she, um, in an unspecified role, they haven't told what the role is, um, but cameras have already started rolling on that movie, and this is not anything new. People, they've done this before in movies, but um, it's just uh, people are wondering what character she's going to play. And I have to say, I'm, I'm, I hope that she's not playing like her regular um, I'm a scientist kind of thing, or the character that just comes in and is all like, I'm going to show this newbie, this whippersnapper, how to use their powers. Um, kind of like um, Robert Redford or Glenn Close or um, uh, Michael Douglas uh, did in their, in their roles as the thing. I mean, but Michael Douglas is in Ant-Man and the Wasp. But he they, they just come in and they just so they can be like, well, I was a part of a comic book movie. And, and there's just these, these really great actors, but they really don't play you know, like a, a really, like, a, a solid role in multiple movies and everything. So I hope she plays, I hope she plays something like, um, I really hope that they cast her as um, maybe another Celestial, um, like we saw in Ego, or um, one of the Elders of the Universe, like we saw in The Game Master and um, The Collector. I hope The Collector's not dead. Um, but yeah, I hope that, I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm really excited for Captain Marvel. I think it's going to be a good movie and everything. Um, so moving on to movies. Uh, movies that came out this week are Terminal, starring Margot Robbie, um, the, uh, uh, the Life of the Party, starring Melissa McCarthy, and Breaking In, starring Gabrielle Union. I have not seen any of these movies. Um, I haven't looked, as of filming this, I haven't looked at anything of how they're doing the box office. So what's coming up? As far as TV shows goes, everything's going to be... Um, Moving along like normal, I think we're getting some season finales um, and everything. Um, but uh, as far as movies go, Deadpool 2 is coming out. And I don't know about you, but I'm excited about it. Um, it's uh, I've read a lot of reviews as of right now, and the, some people are saying it's better than Infinity War. And I don't think it's good to compare because Infinity War and Deadpool 2 are just, like, so different. I mean, as far as movies go. I mean, can't they just both be good without being having to compete with each other? It will be interesting to see if Deadpool 2 uh, beats out Infinity War. It will be embarrassing if it doesn't. I know I'm going to go see it. I don't know if you're going to go see it, but I, I think that you should. Um, that's all the news I have for you guys today. Um, if you like this uh, video, go ahead and hit that like button. If not, I completely understand. If you're new to the channel and you could subscribe, that'd be great. If not, I totally get it. Um, if you could please share this, I would greatly appreciate it so much. That'd be just the best. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll check you guys later. Bye.